Hello guys, uh, so welcome back. So today I wanted to continue with my uh, commerce tool, uh, the little tutorial uh, which I know, uh, which I wanted to share with uh, you all uh, so that you all can get started with it. So today what I wanted to talk about is about the playground uh, which commerce tool provide to access all the products, categories, customers, orders. So most of the endpoints which is uh, required to you know connect with this commerce tool uh, will be available in that playground. So there we can play around with these data and see how the response uh, is you know coming back and uh, how we can uh, roll, write those um, uh, the payload uh, and uh, write it in our code. So all those things we can check it there uh, as a test. Uh, there is uh, another option to test the API endpoints uh, that is to the postman which I'll be talking about in the next video but today let's get started with the playground. So first thing what we have to do is uh, you have to the same thing you can just search for commerce tool or uh, maybe login and click on login commerce tool here uh, you'll get all the you know uh, region uh, URLs so we have to select the one which we registered with so in our next just next to merchant center you can see the playground click on that impex playground so so this page will come up you can just click on the top right click on API, API playground you have to give uh, the username password So once you give this, uh, you'll get the you know uh, the page where you can play around with all the endpoints. So first, let me just query some uh, details and show you. Uh, I'll query some products maybe. In command, you can see multiple options: uh, query, query by, ID, create, update, delete. So you can also see the where conditions, the sort. Uh, page per page expand so we'll just leave that as it is and just query the uh, products all the products so if you click on send take some time usually it doesn't take this much time so let's see if there are data first of all in products uh, I had imported the products uh, if you remember from the first tutorial you can refer that on how to see how to import datas, dummy datas. Okay, so you can see all the data is being coming here. All the data are queried. So you can see the total products is 2703. So same thing, the total uh, products are 2703. So per page, uh, the limit will be 20. Uh, maybe maximum it uh, gets about... Uh, um 500 results i'm not sure let's see so this is basically kind of uh, my sql style they have given so they are saying the limit is 500 so let's give 500 per page axe has a limit and page axe has an offset and the sort or axe has order by where condition so as you are uh, querying 500 results it will take some time so so meanwhile let's just check if there are customers available there should be customers the dummy customers okay they have given four dummy customers same thing goes to category so there are category as well so in the header side you can see what is a header request being sent what is the response coming back so everything will be there in this headers part you can sort it uh, using ascending or descending order in this input field you have to give which particular uh, you know field you want to sort usually we sort it by created at so uh, it's actually taking some time it's taking a longer time now mm -hmm.
so unfortunately uh, it didn't work because it was taking a lot of time and it was uh, the chrome was also you know getting loaded up a lot so uh, the page has uh, broken so what we'll do is uh, we'll just keep it to 20 results but um, uh, personal experience 500 is possible in postman i've tried it so 500 uh, result comes up so no issues with that so let's just select products itself and uh, keep it keep the default one that is uh, 20 results default is 20 so the result has come so let's uh, keep this created at and you know try to sort it so we have to just give created at here and whatever you want descending or ascending you can just give and click on sort so it will sort based on so all was imported at the same time so based on time we can see uh, so it's 185327 so there are a lot of variants actually that's the reason takes a lot of time to load as well so uh, there is no way to you know just uh, show uh, what to say uh, just to just to show the created date it displays everything so it, it gets sorted so no issues uh, if you want i can just show you the ascending one so the last one was 1853.27 my files click on go again It's 1851.56, so it has changed. Uh, if you want to sort it by anything else, you can do it. Suppose if you want to sort it by client ID, uh, then you have to do is uh, you have to give. Last modified, I'm not sure if you can sort it uh, by this thing because there's a limitation for what and all can be sorted. You have to give a dot and then give the value. So either it will it will throw an error or um, it may successfully sort or may not sort and it will not show any anything happening as well. Anything can happen. So let's see what it does. So the value right now is nine s five b z w let's sort it by descending 9s5b zw oh it's still same i guess all the client ids are same so that's the reason so it's not working out okay let's go ahead oh, so that's how sorting is uh, done so so now let's see how to use the where condition so for this what you can do is you can go to um, the developer tutorial and um, can uh, not developer tutorial you can go to merchant center and uh, So actually I wanted to show like uh, how to query. Uh, 
okay it should be platform api my bad okay so query predicates you should go to query predicates and here it will show how to how you can search now suppose if you want it's just like uh, all the where condition possibilities which are there in sql they have what tried to you know uh, implement it here as well so let's first give a uh, name maybe so let's go to commerce tool and see uh what we can see is uh, master current name dot en so we have to do it like this so it will be master master data so master data then open the arrow then it will be current then name then em current name then en is equal to we can give it as uh, this one only that full name for this one uh, replace it here now let's close it three times and uh, just query now hopefully it should give only one result can i click go this i've clicked yeah so it's working uh, it's giving only one result now so the query predicate says how to use uh, uh, if the variable is somewhere inside you know so it gives that details also here um we can also check uh, if uh, a particular vari uh, uh, a key value is uh, declared or not so for that what we can do is so actually this one particular product has a lot of variants and its prices okay we can check if tax category is there or not so for that what you can do is just give tax category is defined i believe uh, somewhere i'd seen uh, okay check whether a field exists and has a non null value so you have to give name is defined or name is not defined so let's give name is not defined let's see how many products are there so there are none so let's see where tax category is defined so it should be 2007 not 3 of course so you can use the in parameter if there are multiple values which you wanted to check so this is about um the basic of uh, you know uh, the endpoints in the playground i will show you how to create and update uh, tomorrow so this the result is to now 2007 not 3 for uh, is defined so tomorrow i will go with the uh, create and update and maybe delete also so let's uh, check out that also tomorrow and um, and one last thing you can query by id what you can do is you can just copy this id and put it here so it will give that particular result only one result okay so one more thing is you can check all everything all the request how it is going here if i give uh, uh, so query and this tax is defined and click on go i'll show you the header how it will be this everything goes has a get request so this gets appended in the url so if you see it's url encoded and uh, tax category is defined is uh, you know passed
that's how the request is passed from here it will be in a json content type and uh, that will be displayed same way for sort also uh, so same like get variable it will go so let's give one per page one result when i give that that limit also will be passed uh, in the url i'll talk more about this um, uh, in uh, you know the postman collection when i talk about postman collections so the limit is also added here so that way it works so uh, tomorrow let's see how to create update and delete um, product and slowly we can look into other things as well other endpoints let me know if uh, i have to talk about any particular endpoints which you have any confusion with let me know, know that so until then guys uh, that's all uh, for today until then uh, uh, take care so we'll catch up in the next video hope you all have a good day and as always please do like uh, if you like the video and if you have any doubts you can post in the comment section share it uh, with your friends and do subscribe guys thank you so much bye